This is Numicon with written methods of subtraction. To begin with, you need to work with numbers that children are very familiar with and are fairly confident with. So, 23 subtract 2. Ask them to write out in the formal way with tens clearly written and units. And then represent that with the Numicon plate. So we have two ten plates for twenty and the three for the units. Subtract two using the two plate. And the children can then use two plate to see that that would leave one. left over. They can see how it works. And you can also see the fact that they've got two ten plates here and that that means there's nothing to take away the any tens here so they have two tens which makes 21. Once they're familiar with that process then you can move on to a more challenging question. So if we stay with the 23, but this time we're going to need to use exchange. So instead of subtracting 2, we subtract 9. And if we go through the same process, We've got the 9 being too much, too big. So, the th so when they try and take 9 away from 3, you can see it's not going to work because you're removing, trying to remove too much. This is where the idea of the exchange comes in. So we take a 10 from the 10th column bring that over. You can see where the 10 came from. You also notice that there's one 10 left over here. So we've now got a calculation. I like to do that a little bit separately here. So they then subtract the 9 from what is now 13. they can very clearly see that there's 4 left from that calculation. So you can put the 4 template there. We then go into the tens column and they can see that there's nothing to take away and so the 10 remains 10. 10 and 4 make 14. And they can write that calculation up on the board. So we have 23, subtract 9, 1 10 left over, exchange into the units, 4 remainder comes from here. And then the 10 in the tens column. This is Numicon with written methods of subtraction.